Wow, I just noticed the window behind me. The <laughs> This camera makes it look like there's a whole bunch of sunshine coming through, and there is not. Uh, it's very dreary, and it's raining right now, and that's why I'm inside. And but it's Tuesday, so it's time to do a video. Get ready. Today I want to read you a quote because it reminded me um, of a statement that Mike made long ago and it's always proven itself to be true over and over. Um, the quote first of all is, sometimes when things seem to be falling apart, if you look closer, they might just be falling into place. Uh, now what, what, what it reminded me of is um, that Mike said the gospel adds nothing, but it it, the, what it, it, its importance and its power is and what it takes away and that is so true um, and in the process things fall into place and so um, my example of that would be if you think about uh, the four things that I consider to be fundamentals of the gospel that I did in a video you know a couple weeks ago um, number one it's all about Jesus um, traditional Christian doctrines tell you that it's all about you. Um, Jesus came here to save the world. He came here to um, uh, take away the sin of the world. Um, he came here for judgment. He said he came here for judgment. Judgment is what I'm here for, he said. Um, and uh, Christianity tells us that it's all about you. Um, and then, uh, of course, um, it's all about the cross, and uh, that's where sin and judgment and redemption of the world all happened was at the cross. And it's all about, um, whereas um, in Christianity it says that um, you have to deal with sin, you're going to end up dealing with judgment, and you are, uh, you're responsible for believing unto salvation for yourself. Uh, otherwise suffer punishment in a con in a coming judgment. No, it was about the judgment at the cross, sin was taken away at the cross, and redemption of the world happened at the cross. It's not about you, it's about Jesus. If you take away the doctrines that told you it was always about you, it, it everything tends to fall in place and you see who was responsible for what the whole time, and it was Jesus, and it was always Jesus. And even when it comes to your belief and your obedience, it wasn't about ever about your belief or your obedience. It was about the faith of Christ and his obedience unto death. That's what the gospel is about. The gospel is not a message about your belief and your obedience. It's good news about his belief and his obedience. And number four, uh, it takes away the um, prospect of a coming judgment um, where... Uh, in traditional Christian doctrine that there's a coming judgment judgment, and we will all be judged for our sins. Well, once you realize it was all about Jesus and Jesus took away the sin of the world at the cross, redeemed the world, and the judgment of the world was at the world, you know that there is no coming judgment. So it takes away all of that anxiety and fear that it was all about you and all in the future. And it puts it all as finished at the cross because of Jesus Christ. So when you take away all these things, everything does really do, does settle. And it's all about one man. That's all I've got to say, short and sweet. It's revolutionary and keep having a revolutionary week.